What's up, what's up dudes? On top of a workout so every single day, I'm now going to give you a piece of strength work to do every single day as well. So you've got your workout, you've got your warm up, and you've even got finishers, but now I'm also going to put in um, some strength work that you can do daily if you choose to do it, okay? Exactly the same then as what we see when we come into class every single day. So today is Monday the 6th, I'm going to throw in some strength work feet. Now, I'm going to give you kind of two different, um, two different pieces to it. A piece that, if you have equipment and a piece if you don't, um, but either or you can do it, okay? So today's piece of strength work is going to be each minute and a minute for 12 minutes. So that just means every minute for 12 minutes you're going to do a certain amount of work. And the first one will be each minute and a minute for 12 minutes. I want you to do five strict pull-ups or five banded strict pull-ups. Okay? So your strict pull-up, just jumping up the bar, hanging nice and day, from here engage the upper back and hands, pulling from here, up over the bar and back down. So you do five of them every minute. If you get five done in 30 seconds, take a 30 second break and then you start the next set. Now, that's going to be hard. If you find it easier to do with a band, use a band. Put your band up over your uh, pull up bar, whether it be at home, in the door, or the back garden, or whatever you have. And then from here, you do five banded strict pull ups. Put the knee into the band, okay? Knee into the band. And then from this position, back up the bar, chin up over the bar, back down again. Again, it's going to be five pull ups. Now, that's for people who have. Um, pull-ups and able to do pull-ups at home that you've got a bar to pull off of all right so five pull-ups every minute for 12 minutes okay if you're able for that do that if that's too hard i just want to flick down guys if that's too difficult and you don't have the um you don't have the necessary equipment to do it you should all have a set of dumbbells or a backpack or whatever and i'm going to get you to do still 12 minutes but i'm going to do two different exercises so we're going to do 10 tempo dumbbell bent over rows. So tempo just means that we want you to take your time with it, okay? So if I'm here, I've got my two dumbbells, I'm going to go up to my bent over row position, I'm going to go here. You can see the knee is slightly bent, the back is flat. I'm going to go from here, two seconds to the top. Sorry, one second to the top. Pause for two seconds, and then take two seconds to the bottom. And pause for one second. <clears throat> Got it? Yeah, so there are tempo dumbbell bent over rows. In the minute, we want you to do 10. Okay, so the first minute, you do 10 of them. And then the next minute after it, we want you to do tempo upright rows. So you've got your two dumbbells, or you've got your kettlebells or backpack. And then from here, you're going to go with upright row. From this position, two seconds up, two second pause, two seconds down. And again, again, <laughs> again, I want you to do a set of 10 of them, okay? So if you don't have the, the equipment to do the pull up, I want you to do 10 tempo over bent over rows, two seconds, two second hold. You're gonna do 10 of them, and then the next minute, you're gonna do your upright rows. So you should do six, six sets of each of them, for your strength work. Guys, that is April the 6th, strength work done for you. Give it a go. If you're able to build on the weight in the second section with the dumbbells or the backpack, increase the weight as you go through the sets. 12 minutes of work, either pull-ups or you've got your, your bent over rows and your tempo upright rows. Guys, give it a go um, and I'll be back to you tomorrow with tomorrow's strength piece. Cheers dudes.